Kelly now, a developing story from downtown Brooklyn this morning after more than two dozen people were arrested during protests there. The unrest stemming from the shooting of Walter Wallace Jr. in Philadelphia. Tanya York's Tracy Strand joins us now with the developing details. And Tracy, you can see the aftermath right where you are. And this is just, Michael, one of the stores that was hit during those protests. We're told there were about 100 people here on Atlantic Avenue where we are, where some tense moments broke out last night. All, as you mentioned, protesting the death of Walter Wallace Jr., shot and killed by police in Philadelphia. Uh, you were looking at those protests that happened here in Atlantic and Borum Place last night. Again, protesting that death in Philadelphia that happened on Monday. In the process here, however, NYPD vehicles were damaged. We even saw some trash cans that were set on fire. Officers were around shattered windows of a Bank of America nearby that was apparently damaged as well. Now, at the same time, there was another night of unrest in Philadelphia from that shooting. We saw Pennsylvania's National Guard deployed onto the streets amidst demonstrations and allegations of looting. Now, this has been happening since Monday when police responded to a call of an armed man during a domestic dispute. Officers can be heard on video telling Wallace to put down his knife before opening fire. Wallace's family, however, told officers the 27-year-old had a history of mental health problems and that they didn't have to shoot. They didn't have to shoot. We need new laws. We need them to be trained differently. These officers had not been deployed tasers, as is the case uh, with many other officers here in the department. Well, in that chaos here in Brooklyn last night, we saw a car that attempted to drive through a group of police officers. Videos were posted of this all over social media. It showed the driver telling officers that she was just trying to go home. But seconds later, you can see officers using their batons to smash the windows and trying to get her attention. Authorities, however, tell me that driver still has not been apprehended. As you bring it back here live on Atlantic Avenue, you can see even more of the damage from last night's protests. We're told at least 30 people were arrested as a result of this. Only two police officers injured, and those were minor injuries. We're live in downtown Brooklyn this morning. Tracy Strahan, today in New York. Michael, we'll send it back to you. Tracy, thank you very much.